guys, for this video, you're going to need um, three one inch by three inch styrofoam discs. We're going to attach two together right here, and we're going to roll it up in a six and a half by 11 inch non woven fabric or any kind of lightweight fabric that you want to use. Just roll it all the way up, and then we're going to put a little stuffing. You can use a pool noodle for this if you want to, but I was trying to use something a little bit different for those who don't have pool noodles available to them. And I also wanted to put a little bit more stuffing in the middle of his stomach to give him a little bit more fatness. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and add a bunch of um, stuffing, and it's just a polyfill. Get it as full as you can, but we're not going to exceed five inches in, in height on this. So then we're going to take our other styrofoam piece, and we are going to put it inside, and we're going to push it down and glue it into a five-inch space. And the, the one the one with the um, one styrofoam in, that's the part that the legs are going to hook into. So the top part is going to be the, the two styrofoam discs. Just get that glued in real well all the way around. Just make sure that it's no, long, no higher than five inches for the overall um, body. And then go ahead and glue the backing. Okay, then we're going to come back in with a three inch piece of white felt and just glue that on top to close all that up. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and make a mark on here on the bottom part and that's where the feet are going to go. We're going to go ahead and take our pants and we are, going to, we are going to glue up just the top inseam of the pants only. Don't go down the leg yet. And then we are going to open those up. And we're with spacing sides together. We're going to glue down both sides and in the inseam area. Just go all the way around there and make sure that's glued in good. Okay, now we're going to turn them right side out after they've dried. And we're going to go ahead and attach them to the end of the tube that had just the one on it with the two dots on it where your legs are going to go. Go ahead and pull those on up and then we're going to attach a string around the waist just to hold that together. And you're not going to see the string once we get his jacket on. Okay, get that all tied off and then we're going to go back in and we are going to glue that to the body. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and make his shoes. We're going to take two dowel sticks that are a quarter inch and we're going to cut them to four and a half inches in length. And then we are going to go to the pencil sharpener and we're going to sharpen the ends of them so that we can push those up into that um, styrofoam real easily. Go ahead and put them into two corks onto each one. And I just drilled those corks out with a quarter inch drill bit. If you have a vise, it, it helps a lot to hold it steady while you're drilling them. Okay, then we're going to take two contact, tent, contact lens holders. And I got the curved ones. You can get the straight ones if you want. We're going to fill them up with the Pinewood Derby weights. You want to go ahead and get them as full as you can with the weights because you want to make sure that you got weight on these feet. If you don't have enough weight on these feet, you may have to put like a wedge heel on the bottom of it to kind of balance it out. I've done that on some gnomes that I've made in the, in the past. Just go ahead and um, screw those back up and we're going to add another weight on top. And then we're going to put those little domes over the top of it. And that's just an ornament that I got. And um, I'll give you the where I got those in the description below. It's just one of the fill, little bitty fill, on, fillable ornaments. And you just can glue it right on top of that contact lens holder. Just to give that that nice round ball on this um, shoe. Okay, then we're going to take some um, quilt batting. And we are just going to stuff it in between the two cavities where that void is just to seal all that up. And we're going to do that on both of them. And in a minute, we're going to go back in and add a little bit more. Go ahead and trim off the excess. And then we're going to take a piece of craft foam, and we are going to trace the shoes onto the craft foam. And this is going to be our uh, the bottom of our shoe, the sole of our shoe. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and cut those out. And then we're going to attach our cork. Just put your cork right into the middle of the back cavity and make sure it stands up straight. Make sure it's 
completely straight before you um, finish gluing it. We're going to go ahead and take the smaller piece, just the rectangle piece of fabric, and we're going to glue that in just around the, the base. And then we're going to come back in with the um, toe of the shoe, and we are going to add a little bit more batting because it wasn't full enough because we want that to stand up good. Then we're going to come in and we're going to put glue on the front and we're going to glue the top part edge to that cork. Then we're going to come on around and we're going to glue this down and you'll just have to do some trimming at the end but it worked really good with the fleece just so you can get it shaped like you want it. Then we're going to go ahead and glue the toe area down and the sides down. And if you pull that fleece pretty tight, you, you can end up with no wrinkles at all on the front. Okay, then we're going to just trim all that off. And then we're going to attach our back piece. So the part, the widest piece is going to go towards the bottom and the skinnier piece towards the top. And that's just going to finish out our boot. Just come around on both sides and just glue that straight down to the to the shoe. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and attach our sole. And then we're going to trim them out. And I just cut, I just used a piece of felt on this part. It's a quarter inch piece of felt. Just go all the way around as tight as you can get to that sole and get that glued down good. And then we're going to take the leftover piece on that and we are going to make a little strap on the top part of the shoe. Just straight across the top. But on, on the bait on the on the part that has the toe of the shoe, the material for that, right across the front. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to put a little buckle on there. I'm just taking a piece of glitter foam and I'm just cutting it to the size I wanted which is about a half inch by half inch. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the second one just so that they match. And I'm just going to glue that down and then I'm taking another little piece of felt just to go across the toe of it, I mean across the middle of it to make it look more like a buckle. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut into our um, styrofoam so we can put our shoes in there a little bit later and I wasn't sure exactly how long to make my pants so you are going to have to trim them go ahead and put your boots in there and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to tuck them under until you get them right to the top of where the boot starts and then we're going to just take a pair of scissors and snip inside of there and then we take those boots back off and we're going to trim them out. And I think it's probably about an inch and a half, but do it this way first and then you're for sure. I just didn't want his pants to be so blousy when we got his boots put on, so I, I cut the legs off. Okay, go ahead and add some glue inside the hole and attach your boots. Make sure they go all the way in there and make sure that they are the, they, are, they are even. When you Make sure you stand him up and make sure he is level. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and take some string and I'm going to attach it around his leg so I can um, gather up that leg just above that boot because we're going to come back in and we're going to put some um, furry yarn around them to, to trim them out. And then do exactly the same thing to the other leg. Okay, and then I'm taking a five inch stick and I sharpened it and I'm going through all the layers. So this is going to give it a little bit more stability. And then we're going to start attaching the fur for his legs. I'm just going to wrap the fur around three times. So start in the back and then wrap it around three times and kind of um, glue as you go a little bit. Just kind of pull it tight and wrap it around three times. Okay, 
And then once you get it all glued in there, just kind of squeeze it together a little bit, you know, to make it a lot more fuller. And then you can put a little bit of glue up underneath there to hold it in. And then you're going to do the same thing to the other leg. Again, that we wrapping it, we're wrapping it three times. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do the body. We got an 11 and a half by five and a half inch piece of um, red fleece. We're just going to wrap it around, make sure that that seam goes straight down the middle, and then we're going to open it up and we're going to go ahead and glue it in. Once you get it exactly where you want it, then you finish gluing it in in the front. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take some of the plush fleece. It's a one and a quarter by 26 inch piece, and this is enough to do the, the um, jacket, arms, and everything. We're just going to fold it in towards the middle, so we're going to have both sides, middles, meet. We're not going to overlap, we're just going to have them meet. And then we're going to take a comb when we're done, and we're going to comb across that um, fabric, and it will, it will make it a lot more um, full. Just take a comb and just comb it out, and it'll, it'll really make it um, fluffy. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and start in the middle, and we're going to wrap it around, and we're going to glue it down. And just overlap the edge a little bit and get it glued in there good. That way you don't see any of the red trim along the bottom of the fur. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and attach a piece to the top, I mean the, to the front, just overlapping right there. Just glue that in straight up. Just make sure that you're covering up that seam. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and fold it on the inside and we're just going to glue it straight down to our styrofoam. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach his belt. I'm using a half inch by 11 and a half inch piece of felt and I'm just attaching it to his belly area. And then I'm going to come back in with a um, piece of one inch by three quarter inch glitter um, craft foam and make the buckle. And then I'm going to come back in and put a little piece of um, felt across the middle of that to make it more, look more like a buckle, like we did on his shoes. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and build his arms. We're going to take two um, pipe cleaners that are 12 inches, put them together. We are going to hem up one side, the long side, the five inch side of the fabric. And we're going to glue those in. And we're going to get pretty close to the top edge because we're going to put our bead on afterwards. We're using the 15 millimeter um, half beads. Just roll that up really good and glue that in. And don't cut the end off on the opposite end. Cut this end off to trim it off. And then we are going to add our bead right on top. And then we're going to come back in with the same type of um, leftover fabric we had for the fur. And we're going to wrap it around his arms. And then do the same thing for the other one. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach them to the body. We're just going to bring them right up into the body and, and bend them over. Get them exactly where we want them. And then we're going to come in with a string. And this is just going to be a temporary string. We are going to cut this back off after a while. But we just want to pull them in 
so we can make sure exactly where they're going to go and glue them in so it has time for the glue to dry good while we're doing other things. Just glue it to the top on both of them and then we're going to glue right underneath the top edge of the arm right above the string. Okay, now we're going to go do his beard, and I'm in my ruler shows three by two and um, three quarter, but we I actually trim mine back out to two and three quarter by two and a quarter, and then just cut behind the faux fur only in a U shape all the way around, and then clean the excess fur off. Then we're going to attach our um, beard right to the top edge. We are going to come over. We are going to overlap a little bit on the top to get that glued in good. Okay, now we're going to do his hat. I'm just taking a 13 by 16 inch piece of fleece. I folded it over on the 16 inch side, so you're, look, you're cutting on the long side. You come up 5 inches, do a little diagonal, and cut that open. Then we are going to go ahead and start gluing the hat together. And then we're going to go ahead and fold it up two inches on the bottom while it's still inside out. Because we're going to make a one inch cuff on the front. So just make sure you got it at two inches and then go ahead and glue it in. And then we're going to take our pliers and turn it right side out or whatever kind of tool you want to. Pliers work really good for me. And just go ahead and push it on up till you have a point. Then we're going to go ahead and take it. We're going to make a one inch cuff. And then we are going to cover this with fur as well, but it gives it a lot more depth if you go ahead and do the cuff and then add the fur. Okay, well now we're going to take the same type of um, plush, plush fleece and we're going to cut at two inches by 14 inches. And again, we're just going to glue it. This one, we're just going to glue it up quarter inch on both sides. And that's what we're going to attach around the, the hat. Go ahead and um, glue in your cuff on your hat. And put it aside. Then we're going to take some pipe cleaner. Go ahead and take that string off, that temporary string off. And you're going to need six seven and a half inch pipe cleaners and two 12 inch pipe cleaners. The two 12 inch, we're going to um, bend over the top, stick it up into the hat, and we are going to glue that into the base of the hat. Okay, then we're going to take three of our um, seven and a half inch pipe cleaners, twist them together, and we're going to make like a dome over the top of his head. And then glue that in, and we're going to do the same thing with the other three, and we're going to dome those over the opposite sides. This is just going to give it a little bit more height, so when you put your hat on it, it um, fits really well. And we're going to come back in with like a big wad of um, stuffing, just like get a big wad of it in your hand. I'll show you how much I'm going to use. And we're going to open those up a little bit to hold that in. That's how much I'm using. Just stuff it on in there, and that will hold it in place and give it some um, height for the hat. Just kind of bend that out there, and then we're going to go ahead and attach our hat. And then when we get exactly where you want it, we're going to go ahead and start gluing it in. We're just going to glue the back end first. And then we're going to glue all the way around his arms, up to his beard, but not on his beard yet. We're just trying to seal it in so none of that stuffing will come out. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach his nose. Just to add a dollop of glue there, lift up his hat, put it up underneath his nose. And then we're going to go ahead and glue his beard down to his, um, hat, his hat, down to his beard, and then to his nose. Okay, then we're going to take his hat and we're just going to bend the top over 
and we're going to put his pom pom in the front. But we're going to go ahead and attach his um, trim. Just center it on the hat and come down where it's over the ledge of the hat so you don't see any of the red. Just make sure you get that glued in good. Then we're just going to take a pom pom and add it to the top part of his hat. And then we're going to glue his hat um, to his, his uh, brim of his hat. All right, there you have it. Cute little gnome. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. If you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell.